Welcome to www.learnquickbooksfree.com. That's right. This is where you get to learn QuickBooks for free. Hello to everyone on this cold December day. But the time has arrived. QuickBooks 2014 is here. And yes, we are going to look at what's new. And uh, so we are in QuickBooks 2014 and throughout browsing. You'll notice that uh, just like in 2013, you have your little tab over here of what's new, so you can click on it. I'm not going to spoil all the fun right now and click on it uh, because it's already going to tell you what's new over here and it's going to mess up everything I'm doing. Okay, so uh, I actually want to start off with uh, one of my favorite new features. Uh, I know this is definitely going to save me and a lot of you guys a lot of time. I like it a lot. And so for this first feature, I'm going to go to Customer, Receive Payments. I'm going to just pick an example of where there was an actual check payment, not a cash or credit card, but for a check payment, something that you wrote a physical check. And uh, what's nice about it is this icon right here called the Record Bounced Check. And before, you used to have to do about two, three, four steps to do uh, you know, do everything that revolved around recording a bounced check. However, now it's all under this one tab. And so if you did basically get a check and it bounced, so you're going to click this button over here. And what's nice about it is um, it's going to ask you how much was the bank fee. So usually you get charged, what, 15 bucks, 20 bucks. You know, nowadays, I don't know what they rape you, 30, 40, 50 bucks, you know. Soon they're going to want your lunch money. But for now, let's say it was $20. Okay. And uh, you got charged, you know, on this date for the bank fee. That's when it bounced. Okay. Uh, it's going to go under bank service charges. So already it's doing one step for you right there and not having to go to, you know, write check and record the bank fee. It's all in one. I love it. I love this feature. It's awesome, you guys. Okay. Next, of course, you can put in whatever class you want, but next is also the customer fee. Well, you know, the bank charged you 20 bucks. Do you want to carry on, carry that fee on to your customer? Well, most likely you do. Every company does things different. You can do 20 bucks over here, or you could say, you know what? For, you know, bounce, we charge 35 bucks because it's, uh, you know, $15 from my time to have to go through these shenanigans, even though my shenanigan has been shorten a little bit with this new version and I'm gonna hit finish or next actually I'm sorry it's gonna basically tell you over here you know the little summary of everything you're gonna click finish and there you go now you have a bounce check and you have all those little other entries that's automatically done this is it this is this is my number one feature for what's new okay now let's move on to the next So I will close this out. Let me minimize this over here as well. Feature number dose. I'm going to go under customer and it's a new thing called income tracker. And what's really nice about this is it kind of not only summarizes everything that's, you know, open. Uh, but it gives you a little color coding of, you know, where estimates, how many sales order he has, how many open invoices, what's overdue. Of course, in this example, nothing's overdue, so that's great. What has been paid in the last 30 days. Okay, and so as you click these different tabs, it's going to pull up only what's in this section over here. So this is a really nice navigation that they added. And... I could also, of course, if I got my open invoices, I could sort it by date. Uh, so I could figure out, or, you know, by due date as well, you know, which one is due right now, which one is due later. Okay, so you can attack what's priority. And then you have uh, other features of, as well over here uh, to where you could select one. Um, you can double click on it, go to the actual invoice itself. Um, 
you can select an act an action over here whether you want to receive payment print it email it okay so that's pretty cool or you could select a few of them so let's say these are the ones that are really past due and you really got to get all these five right here you can go down to batch action and do what's called okay and let me bring this up a little bit more over here for you guys batch action and batch email and so that way what it's going to do is going to email all these five to its respective you know person so and so that's the nice thing about it it can multi you know email instead of having to do one at a time i'm not going to hit send right now because it's actually going to send it to these fake people uh but um this is a second feature so use this income tracker it's going to really help you instead of having to go into all these different reports. It's all kind of summarized over here. Easy to navigate. Use this feature. It's really cool. This next feature is on managing your uh, email, the templates, and also tracking them. I really like that tracking feature actually a lot. Uh, so over here I went under Edit, Preferences, and under Send Forms. You can go over here to, uh, to uh, company preferences and as you can add different templates over here um, and you can do different things to them in, in, as far as inserting f different fields over here as well uh, so I'm not going to really go into all the detail right now but because um, it, it could be a, a little bit you know much but uh, whole point is, is you can customize your uh, email templates okay so that's one cool feature Another feature is if I go to customer, customer center, and I go to this one, you know, this customer right here, for example, you'll notice a tab over here called send email. Of course, I didn't send any emails, but if I did, it would keep track of all these emails sent so I know exactly when I sent it and when I didn't. This is a really cool feature. You know, in case someone says, you know, you never got it. Well, you can say I sent it. Well, are you sure you sent it? Yeah, I'm sure I sent it. So obviously if they didn't get it, maybe it went to their spam folder. At least you know you sent it. You're not crazy. Your customer's crazy. That's right. Customers are crazy. You know, demanding, demanding, demanding. Okay. But now they cannot tell you you did not send it. Now here's another cool little thing on the top right hand side over here. It's not a new feature, but uh, the fact that it's over here is it's new. You know, so before to view reminders or alerts, you would have to go under, I believe it was a list, or where was it under edit? One of those things you'd have to you know look for it up here. Now you can just click on here, and it's got your reminders, your alerts all over here. So it's a little bit easier to. Um, kind of find you know and remind you that there's an alert <laughs> well isn't the alert supposed to remind you so in any case um, cool little feature okay all right on to the next and over here on the left sidebar widget you know this was in 2013 but what's nice about it uh, right now is that uh, things like such as your balances I mean, you can basically customize what you want viewed over here. So that way, maybe if something's private or not, you know, uh, you can, you know, remove it or you can add it. Okay. So this over here, you could, uh, you could add. So there's different things that you can add over here. Once again, you can remove it. You know, if you don't want people looking at your savings or petty cash, but you're okay with AR and AP, you know, then you could do that. And you see, it kind of updates your balances over here. Uh, you know, same thing for view my shortcuts. You can customize what you want and what sort order you want. That was in 2013. Running favorite reports, same thing. You can customize that as well. And another thing that's cool is if we go to edit, back to preferences, and we go to desktop view, I can also change the color. You see how the color kind of changes? Uh, I like this red over here. Purple and red? No. It was the red. Yes, red. I like blood. So, 
you can choose whatever you want hit OK and now you've kind of customized your color as well so a couple of new features over here for you and here's another one under banking it's a new feature called bank feeds which you before used to be online banking it's a little bit updated looks a little bit nicer a little a little cooler so when I go over here you could see these are examples of different banks that are tied in whether they're credit card or banks and it what's nice about it is that it kind of tells you over here a little summary of you know you got seven transactions are waiting to be added so if I go to the transaction list it can show me all you know over here is all the pending ones to be reviewed and of course uh, if I could go one by one and uh, so I could class it under whatever I want whether it's an expense income or so what not so I could do that like that select action I could do a quick add other you know options over here and same thing as well I could do a few of them in a row batch actions I can add approve I can ignore um, and and so this is something that you you know if you have that kind of need definitely tie it in it's gonna automate the process of putting down all your transactions and not having to do things manually it's gonna save you guys a lot of time a lot of headache uh, there's a lot of other things around it that you can look at but uh, uh, that's where it's at banking and uh, bank feeds you know definitely look into that if you have especially multiple accounts even if you have one big one okay so let's go on to the next And so the next one I want to show you has to do with the ribbon tool, whether it's you're in create invoices, enter bills, uh, sales receipts. You know, so where these ribbons are, and of course you have your main toolbar, and now under reports you have a lot more reports. So yes, before you're able to go to reports, and you still have all your reports over here. But what's nice with the ribbon tool is that it associates the type of reports that most likely go with whether it's invoices or bills and so that way it eliminates the thinking process especially for you newbies uh, you know so when you're into your bill you know look at these because these are the most likely reports that you're gonna be want to look at when you are trying to reference this section so kudos for QuickBooks I really love what they're doing you know they are definitely uh, uh, a premier company and they do a lot of stuff and especially with 2013 and 2014 I'm now more than ever sold on QuickBooks you know love you guys and while we're here uh, I'm gonna go under create invoices I'm gonna go to formatting well first let me go to main let me pick one that has and so now I'm gonna go to formatting and here's another cool feature anything that saves time is groovy gravy all that stuff so um, instant drywall I can copy the line now I can paste the line so you have a copy and paste feature wasn't there before it's here now I can also delete the line I can insert a line I can paste it in between all this stuff man it's you know I'm, I'm so excited I don't know what I'm gonna do right now I'm gonna you know burst like a bubble right now I'm so excited with all these features yes yes I'm actually excited over QuickBooks I know and the last thing I want to show you before we send off on this video uh, has to do with printing reports there's a new little feature down here almost like Word and Excel where you can fit report and basically you can um, you know adjust the width or the height of the report uh, and so uh, this is really cool just be careful that if you know the report has a lot of stuff and you try to fit it to one page um, so you know you may just want to do one page wide and not one page high because once again if you try to condense way too much in one page you know it's not going to come out looking right so it is a cool new little feature but just got to beware you know and you may want to do a preview on it so you could see how it might look like on one page in this example it's no big deal um, you know maybe the height 
was uh, is not good only the width but whole point is is if you have a, a bigger report you can play with it a little bit and you know see how you want to do that so that wraps it up for this video um, QuickBooks 2014 very exciting uh, visit our website starting January we are going to have a contest for a free QuickBooks 2014 We've had other contests and previous winners in the past, and we're always going to have different contests and so whatnot in the future. So if you don't win this one, always look out for one. We will have them. And that concludes this lesson. Uh, you can visit our website at www.learnquickbooksfree.com to watch more videos.